I was homeless. So I used to, and I was homeless and I was broke. And so I ain't want to be in Dallas wearing the same clothes. So I get up and I hit a different city every day. Wow. With the same outfit on. Wow. And, and the girls didn't know I had it on for four days. And I, when I hit the different city, I had to go spend the night over, I had to find a girl, go to the club and find a girl to spend the night with the house. Wow. And then, I, and, and when the more I went out in different cities, I started hearing Dallas music. Mm. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Whole bunch of partners before I started just that. Was in the city doing all kind of stuff. Yeah. And every time I would bring your name up, they just talk about how hard you go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it messed my head up. I think the one that got me the most was when uh, Mr. Hit That came on here. Yeah, and Mr. Hit, that, Mr. Hit That went down through that for rain. Mm -hmm. He was like, man, you know, the boogie movement. It wouldn't have been what it was without rain. And I was like, damn, he had something to do with that? He's like, man, he had everything to do with that. Uh -huh. And it was like, what? He was like, he was promoting, man. He booked us. He's the only nigga that booked us out of town and did all this stuff. It was all kind of talk going on. Oh, oh, listen, man, Rain <laughs> is something else. He gave me some crazy calls. Hey, but I, I'm finna tell y'all the craziest thing with Rain. And I'm and, and Rain had at least 30% to probably even more. I'm just, I'm just being modest, super modest. To with the growth of the whole Dallas Boogie era, I don't think it would have been a big, uh, as big of a Boogie era without Rainwater. Why? Rainwater was the only individual that would get on the road and go to all the colleges and get us booked. Hmm. You can't, you cannot go and ask any local artist that had a Boogie song. I'm talking, and I can name them: the the Paper Chasers. Uh um um what what was his name T Wheels and uh his his brother um uh a B Hamp yeah. the Party Boys uh even the it was anybody GS that the GS anybody that was local on only, only reason I, I I wouldn't put the GS Boys in there because that was already they already, they had, already a had a deal you know what I'm saying and B Hamp th those two already had a deal yeah but anybody else you wasn't getting booked unless Rain was calling you because Rain was the one out there hustling trying to make his 10% or 5%. But mm -hmm. back then, we didn't know that booker, like people that book shows get that type of money. We thought we were supposed to get all the money. That's the only reason the world started calling Rain Janky. I was homeless. So just tell me a was little bit the about- one who, Was he the one who told that story about him jumping in his car and driving to book everybody? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's what I did. Cause yeah. People didn't know I was living out my car. Yeah. And I was 19, 20, 21, 22. I, uh, when I graduated from high school, uh, my close homeboy had a song called Gutter Bitch. Okay, I Trade remember East. the song, yeah. And I had went to college, and uh, I stayed for three months, four months, and I came back to Dallas. Wow. And uh, I was homeless. So I used to, and I was homeless and I was broke. And so I didn't want to be in Dallas wearing the same clothes. So I get up and I hit a different city every day. Wow. With the same outfit on. Wow. And, and the girls didn't know I had it on for four days. And I, when I hit the different city, I had to go spend the night over. I had to find a girl, go to the club and find a girl, spend the night with the house. Wow. And then I, and and when the more I went out in different cities, I started hearing Dallas music. Mm -hmm. So I started going to the club. I'm you know, saying, I know them. I'm like you can book them for me. Hell yeah. How much they want? They might be going for three thousand. I call them say. Uh, hey, I got a thousand dollars for y'all. You know what I'm saying? Make your money. Yeah, so nah, you no, 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 no. I, they might be going for three thousand. I might book them for fifteen hundred, half of that. I keep five hundred and get them a thousand. Okay. But I was, I never knew, I never realized at the time I was cutting their managers out, <laughs> <laughs> and they was getting all their money because at the time all Dallas rappers were on them show money they wasn't touching nothing. It's them niggas who put that money behind them that were touching this shit. Wow. And so Crazy. now all the artists calling me. You can't you got a show for us. Got a show for us. I, I made all the art, I made all the artists back then leave their managers. So is that where the hate came from? The managers? Yeah, yeah, because they kept they started calling me janky, <laughs> and then they put that in they they put that in they artist head. Yeah. That Rainwater was janky because I keep five hundred to myself. I keep five hundred to myself, and uh, and get them a thousand. But back then it was a groups, so they had to split their thousand. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it yeah. seemed really hard for them. It, yeah, so yeah. it might be four of them, and I and, and they yeah. got 250, 250, 250. But you get five. I get five. Oh, uh, 
the Hawaii trip. Yeah, let's talk about that. I was going to ask you about that. Like you was I, something. Yeah. I want to talk about that Hawaii thing because for you to book up some overseas, listen, some some dancing uh, boogie movement artists that were popping in Dallas. How did you make that happen, bro? And made those connections over there. Man, hit the house sitting there, wild Mark in Houston, and the nigga called his phone and tried to book hit to her. And he said, "I right, well, uh, you got to talk to Rainwater to book me." So I got on the phone with the army dude, and I realized the type of budget he got, what type of money he got, and I said, you need to book this order, this order, this order. I booked by seven artists, and uh, six artists, and uh, and that, they paid for flights, they paid for everything, and we went out there about thirty five deep. Wow! And, How much uh, was the damn. payout? Uh, eighty thousand. Mm. How much did you keep? Uh, I gave, I paid the artists out fifty thousand, and I kept thirty. 30. Yeah, damn good deal. And, uh, that, that and I gave them, deep. I gave them more than they they expect. I gave them more than they was making because yeah. I I, I, made, I hit the lick so high, so I gave them more than they was even getting. And uh, at the end of the day, uh, the stanky leg they didn't show up. They didn't show up. Uh -uh. So you booked them, but they didn't show. up They didn't show up. They Did you pay them? They put they took my deposit and didn't show up. So you didn't get it back. Uh uh. Who was you dealing with during that time, old boy uh, Prince? Uh, I was dealing with. Uh, some dude that was managing them at the time, cause they okay. they business was all fucked up. Yeah. Wasn't black. Uh uh, it was some I don't know I can't remember some Arkansas nigga or some nigga mm -hmm. that came from nowhere, cause they business was all fucked up. So I, I gave them all the money, and then we get down there. How much you give them? Uh, I gave them like I did it early, so I gave them like four thousand. I booked them for uh eighty five hundred and and six flights. Mm. And they didn't even and, show. And three hotel rooms. Damn. And so when I get out there. They they picked me up from the airport and me and hit that flew out there the day before everybody got there. Picked me up from the airport and Ali was talking on the radio. We got the we got the, we got the whole Dallas Texas in here. Um, do the stanky leg, do the stanky leg. And didn't show. And hit them with the flake. They like damn. Was they, that the only group that didn't show up? That's the only group. Oh, Trail Lee and Prince Rick. They didn't show. I booked them too and then and then they end up going to Shreveport with Bay Bay. What mm. the hell? Mm hmm. But you would think that going overseas, that would have been way more exposure. Oh. Like, why not go to that venue? Yeah, because I was doing it. They had them gave him that name. Uh huh. Uh, Lil Will, me and Lil Will got into it. Really? That time, yeah. Cause we went all the way out there, and I gave him his money, and we stayed an extra day. And uh, Lil Will and Young Black, they went to the Gucci store and the Louis Vuitton store when they first got there. They weren't used to it. They, they, then they was mad at me, cause it's mad at me, cause they couldn't give it, they, cause they had to stay an extra day. Mm. Mm. And so. Uh, yeah, I never forget that. I never forget them days. <laughs> but okay, so I can see them calling you janky because, especially when they had to split the money and it's less than what you what they what you made. Yeah. Right. But for the people who didn't have a group, did you book people who didn't have a group? Young Black didn't have a group. The Road didn't have a group. Lil Will didn't have. So a group. they wouldn't call you janky because they would have had more money coming to them. But but the thing was, I was still making more money than all of them because I used to per people up. They don't understand. I used to do that in every city. Colleen for the military. I had a military account where I, I used to book all the military shows. Pow Wow, uh, I did J Dog, I did Texas Relay. Anything came out of Texas, I was booking all the shows. Damn. Mm. B King, yeah, B King. I've been on B King about damn near 13, 14. I remember the first time I ever heard of B King. B King was sitting outside of Houston with the same shirt on. Mm. Right up. <laughs> Straight up, man. And he was the same nigga. I've been knowing them for a long time. Like DJ chose, uh, you know, I've been knowing them for a long time. It, it got to a point where Houston rappers appreciated me more than Dallas rappers because all the Dallas rappers was was was, was older than me or or the same age. That's crazy. And so they didn't take me, they didn't take me serious. They didn't appreciate me. 